For us, thoughts on UFC cutting ties with USADA. That's some hash slinging slasher. What can I say? I'm not a fan of that. I really think they should work together. From my understanding, I'm not even sure why this part of ways, but from what I understand is that they couldn't get Conor McGregor to do his tests. <laughs> Which that's a whole other story. That's what I'm understanding. And they said, you know, we're losing our integrity. Boom, we're breaking ties after the new year. That's what I understood. I just saw a headline, and I don't even remember the headline, but there could be a lot more to it, obviously. If that's the case, man, we're... Uh, what can I say? I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. That's ridiculous. One guy's going to ruin it for everybody. We need drug testing, guys. It's out of control, man. It's out of control. The drugs are out of control. Am I the last natural guy left? Am I the last of the Mohicans? Am I the last one left? Am I? Am I the last natural human being? I love how uh, Liver King was crying. He's back on the sauce now. He's like, ah, I can't do it. It's too hard. Training Natty is too hard. Guys, all he has to do is lift weights. He doesn't have to box or wrestle or grapple or do clinch or do conditioning. He doesn't have to do this martial, mixed martial arts. It's really tough, man. You want a tough job? Mixed martial arts is a tough business. We're hitting each other. That's tough business, man. You better be in sick shape, man. You better be fit, strong, and stable. You better, you better, your joints better be tippy top, cream of the crop. Okay. All this guy has to do is have a low body fat, drag around his sled, carry some kettlebells, say hoo ya every few minutes, eat testicles, liver, and that's it. That's his job. Tell people about sunshine and cold and whatever kind of nine ancestral. You know, they weren't bad. I've read them here on the channel once. Like, they're common sense. I don't think they're revolutionary. Instead, if you add the 10th ancestral tenant, which is like inject yourself with wild amount of a wild amount of chemicals. He said he can't do it. He can't do it. And he doesn't even have to wrestle. He doesn't even have to box. He doesn't have to hand-to-hand, man-to-man combat. That he couldn't handle. That's what a mental midget he is. I know he's a short guy. I'm not attacking his height, okay? I don't, I don't care about his height. I care about his mind. He is a mental midget. Hoo-yah! Oh, look at me! Oh, look at me! Hoo-yah! Look, if you do the night... You, you can't even live up to your own philosophy. What a cowardly man. What a cowardly man. Oh, look at me. You could be just like me. Oh, I'm here to help you. You ain't helping nobody. You ain't helping nobody. You're just filling up your pockets on people's naivete. I can't believe people buy the buy into this stuff. I remember when we when he got busted, of course, we had a podcast. We met, uh, like we talked about it in the chat. Everybody's like, of course he's on steroids. Every guy's on steroids. Everybody believed he was on steroids. Okay. We don't need we don't need Sherlock Holmes to come here and tell us he's on steroids. I get that. That's fine. But how come so many, I heard he, he was like making it like he made over a hundred million. Why are people buying his supplements? Do you think his supplements have anything to do with his physique? I'm not against supplements. I use supplements, natural supplements, obviously. But do you think that has anything to do with his physique? So there's a lot of naive people, like maybe not the people in the chat room. Because I, I would tell you, like, I would think 90, 95% of you thought he was on steroids. But the fact that he made $100 million means that there's a lot of people who think it's his powders that do it. 